one of our friends in the UK, Nexus, um, is making a comment. Um, uh, Robbie, you had made a suggestion on how to move the cube while running XP in a virtual mm. environment. And, um, and he says that's fine, but there is another way, um, which is nice for someone to uh, come up with another mm. way for us. Um, and that's using the seamless mode in VirtualBox. Um, he says, I would attach a screenshot, but there's no facility for that here. Um, and uh, makes a nice note to carry. Nice to see you're all relaxed and you're doing a good job, carry. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so what uh, what is being mentioned there by Nexus is uh, just talking about the feature that we had last uh, was it last week or some sometime recently where mm -hmm. we were talking about um, about getting uh, VMware uh, for a viewer to work on the desktop and be able to spin the cube and stuff. And mentioning seamless mode there, thank you Nexus. That's a great uh, feature of VirtualBox. The particular viewer was actually using VMware, so it wasn't something that could come up. Newer versions of VMware Workstation, now this is a commercial product, uh, also have what's called Unity Mode, uh, and that's kind of mm. comparable to Seamless Mode in VirtualBox. So for those who have, who have maybe heard those terms and don't really know what they are, or if, uh, if you've never heard those terms, a very, very cool uh, kind of, you know, the way that virtualization technology is proceeding um, is that these two features, so in VMware it's uh, called Unity, in VirtualBox is called seamless mode. Um, it basically allows us to integrate our virtual machine directly into the host operating system. So whereas in days gone by, our virtual machine was basically, you know, if we had a, a Windows XP virtual machine, we would basically just have, like you've seen on the show, Windows XP loaded on one of our cube faces. So it actually looks like Windows XP exactly because that's what it is. So then taking it one step further, uh, programs like VirtualBox and VMware have integrated this new feature that, and it's not that new now, but uh, certainly is a, a progressing and up-and-coming feature uh, that allows us to integrate that fully into our desktop. So now, no longer do we have to have a full-screen Windows XP. Instead, we would just get the Windows XP start, uh, start menu, uh, for example, integrated into our Ubuntu desktop, for example, if Ubuntu is our host. So in that way, then we bring up our, our, let's say, Internet Explorer within that virtual machine, and it feels like that Internet Explorer is actually integrated directly into our, our Ubuntu desktop. There's no Windows desktop anymore. Uh, so it's, it's a very, very cool way, uh, if your system supports it, to be able to, uh, like Nexus is saying, be able to f flip that cube around because things are uh, completely integrated into your Linux desktop. And definitely something that we're going to be looking at once stability has kind of increased a little bit, uh, once, it's, uh, once we feel that it's something that uh, is actually functional in a, in a production environment. Uh, but it's something that if you, if you don't mind tinkering around, yeah, check out seamless mode or unity mode, depending on which product you're using. They're both very, very cool features um, and uh, definitely will be something that we'll look at in the future. Mm -hmm.